coming around the mountain as she comes. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's going in the video for sure. <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Elliot, and in this video, me and my friends are gonna be working on the deuce and a half. Specifically, we're gonna be servicing the front hubs. I've owned this vehicle for about six months now, and I still don't know what they look like inside. So let's get over to my friend's shop and get to it. give you guys an update we got the passenger side started to get taken apart obviously the trucks jacked up both front wheels are off we already did the driver's side I did not record that at all the only thing left that I got to do is torque that front axle nut down actually there's two of them so I'm gonna pull that front one off torque down the back one put that lock ring on there and then put the second one back on Got this toolbox off of a five ton. John's gonna be doing the center dip, draining and refilling the center dip. Are you vlogging? No, I'm just sending a video. You should, you should vlog for your thousands hey of followers. Huh? Your, your thousands of followers My on thousands of followers on TikTok, on, man. On, on TikTok and Instagram. Yeah. My 400 followers on Instagram. Tastes like vanilla.
You having fun over there? Hey guys, so uh, I want to do this quick because the Elliot looks kind of weird doing, holding up the camera. But the middle dip, it's pretty easy to fill and um, drain. All it is is a half inch, half inch um, wrench that you just pop on the bottom, half inch wrench that you pop on the top. Here's the fill plug right here. But I got, we didn't have much metal on the drain plug. It only took about 30 seconds to drain, but you kind of want to leave it for about you know two or three minutes just let it drain out all the way um but it's not that hard really i mean anyone can really do it even even my retarded brother even though i don't have a brother but um yeah so it's it's very awkward though i always mention that because the track bar and the leaf springs and your head kind of gets crushed but it's all right anyways i'm gonna hand you back to elliot so he's a little charlie horse See if I can get the light here. There you go. As you can see, I got the new boot installed from Big Mike's. I have it installed on my driver's side. It's been on there for over 250 miles, no issues. So I think I'll have pretty good luck with this side. Got 
the new boot installed with the shield. That is RTV, in case you're wondering. I had to put RTV there because that is where the airline goes for the CTIS. Coming around the mountain as she comes. Whoa. Do you know what I'm up on my own? What are you up to, Aaron? You want to tell the viewers what you're doing right now? Politely, no cuss words because kids yeah. watch this. I accidentally got this stuck in one of my sockets. So then I just had to pry it out. So you want to explain to them what you're doing? Take Here to this oh. deuce and a half. Take the bracket off. Because little Johnny wants to put a toolbox in there. Yep, so I'm going to put a toolbox there above that uh, spare tire. So I'm having Aaron remove this bracket which holds the shovel and whatever extra tools came in that vintage tool kit. I'll hold on to the bracket. Hey John. Can you get in and step on the brakes? Okay. Alright, so I didn't film this part, but I put these hub lockers on the front so that way when I'm driving on pavement, I can disengage either side because I've upgraded to these five ton tires. And let me tell you, it is very difficult turning this thing with five ton tires. And I don't think my air assist is working properly either. So it's pretty much like manual steering at this point on a massive vehicle. So I got these hub lockers installed and I think it helps, it helps on the sharp turns when I don't have much speed, but other than that, I don't really feel a difference. But I'm still glad that I have them nonetheless. If you made it this far into the video, I wanna thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one. I plan on getting a couple more videos rolling out here soon. And uh, yeah, thank you for your support. Have a great one.